Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL to the November security update using Fastboot and the factory images. I do apologize, I wasn't able to get an OTA uh, update to show you guys how to do it using Magisk and Magisk Manager, but hopefully that'll come uh, next month instead. So we're going back with the traditional roots of doing things and to get started, we need to download a few things. First up, of course, is the SDK platform tools. This is just executables that allow us and our computer to communicate with our phone through the command line. So just download the one that is right for your operating system. So you can click on that. You need to read and agree to the terms and conditions and then click on the blue download link. So I've just saved everything into one folder here and I suggest you do the same thing just so we can keep everything organized. And the next thing we want to download is the latest factory image for our Pixel 2 or 2XL. Uh, here you will also need to agree to some terms and conditions but once you've done that, you can freely browse the site here. And on the right-hand side, you can select Walleye for Pixel 2 or Timon for Pixel 2 XL and select the appropriate factory image for yourself. So here, there is only one version and it starts with PQ1A, very peculiar. Just click on the blue download link and also save that in the same folder as everything else. The next thing we want to download is the latest beta version of Magisk. I guess it's just better for Android P and stuff like that, but just download the latest beta. I think you can use the stable as well, but I recommend using the beta version at least. So click on the latest beta here on the right, oh, sorry, left hand side and save that in the same folder. And last but not least, the latest version of TWRP for either the Pixel 2 or 2XL. So just click on the download links down here. It's the same for both pages. And just download the latest version of the image, which is 232-1 for the Pixel 2. I wonder if the XL has anything different. Probably not, it does not. So yep, just download the latest image and also download the latest installer zip file if you want to. I won't be using that in this video, but if you want to use TWRP and you want to install it permanently on your device, then you'll also need to download the installer and I'll let you know when to flash that once we're in the recovery. But once you have everything downloaded, I have at least four files. You might have five if you're installing TWRP. But with that being said, we need to open up the platform tools folder to extract the platform tools. So we're going to extract the folder outside just like that into our Android folder. If you already have this extracted somewhere and it's quite likely that you do, feel free to use the same version as long as it is still up to date. Now we can close that uh, archive there and we can open up the platform tools folder. Now in here, you'll need to open up a terminal window, a command prompt or a PowerShell window here in the same directory as where all these files are. So to do that on Windows, you can hold shift and right click in an empty spot and click on open PowerShell window here. You might also get the option to open command prompt window here. You can do that or you can go up to the address bar and then type in CMD and hit enter. And that'll also change the directory of the command prompt to the same one where you are currently. But I'm going to use my console emulator here, but it's the same thing. So just do the one that you can do. And once we have this set up, we can go back to the Android folder where everything else is and we'll need to open up the factory image here. Open up the folder inside and extract the image zip file, the bootloader image and the radio image outside just like so. Give this a few seconds since it's quite big. And once that's done, we can close the factory image zip file and we'll need to make sure that the Magisk zip file and of course our TWRP install zip file is also on our device if you need that. So I'm going to copy that to my device. Again, we need to activate the USB mode to file transfers. And we should see our Pixel 2 pop up on our computer. And what you can just do is just paste it in here, just like that. So now you can close that and we can reboot our phone into the bootloader. And to do that, we're going to hold the power button and we're going to tap on restart and as soon as the screen turns black or freezes we're going to hold the volume down button and keep holding that until our phone boots into the bootloader. So that took a little while but that's fine just keep holding it but once you're in the bootloader we can go back to our computer here and start typing in our commands. So the first command is fastboot devices quite standard and that is just to check uh, that our device is connected you can see the serial number there and once that is correct, you can now go ahead and flash the bootloader image. But if you don't see a device there, please have a look at my description down below. 
I do have a video on installing the drivers for our Pixel devices. So to update our bootloader, we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader. Leave a space after the word bootloader and drag in the bootloader image. And once you've done that, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader just to ensure that the new bootloader has taken effect. So we're going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader and hit enter. And once you've done that, we're going to do the same for the radio image. So we're going to type in fastboot flash radio, leave a space after the radio and drag in the radio image, which is over here, hit enter. And once that is done, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader once more. You can use the up arrow key on your keyboard to navigate to previous commands and just hit enter on that. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and issue the update command. So we're going to type in fastboot double dash skip dash reboot. This prevents our phone from rebooting automatically after the update has finished since we need to go into TWRP and flash Magisk again. So I'm going to type in now update and after that leave a space and then drag in the image zip file and not the whole factory image, just the one that you've extracted. And now we're going to wait for this to extract all the images and flash them to our phone. This should take roughly about a minute to do, so I'm just going to fast forward this until it's finished. Now if you get an error like this, that's fine. You can either try replugging your phone, the USB, and giving that same command another go. So I'm just going to try that. So I had a bit of a pickle there with the USB 3.0 ports it looked like. Uh, no matter how many times I rebooted back into the bootloader, it would uh, stop on boot underscore A, too many links. So yeah, you might have to get creative with uh, troubleshooting here whenever these things go wrong, but hopefully you'll find a way to flash the images. Okay, now that all our images have flashed, it is a bit slower on USB 2.0, but that's fine. And the next thing we want to do is boot up the TWRP image temporarily. So we're going to type in fastboot boot, and then leave a space after that and drag in the TWRP image, and then hit enter. And our phone should boot into TWRP shortly. Okay, let's try decrypt our data. Uh, this hasn't worked for me for the past few months, but hey, it worked. That's great. Okay, so now we can just flash Magisk. And we can do that by tapping on install. But if you want to flash the TWRP installer, you can do that now as well. But I'm just going to flash Magisk for this uh, tutorial. But feel free to install TWRP as well. Okay, that was quick. So now we're going to tap on reboot system and wait for our phone to turn back on into Android, where we'll check out Magisk Manager. And just to check that we're still rooted and we can check our safety net status as well. So I'm going to fast forward this until we get back into Android and we'll just have a little poke around. Okay, so our phone's booted up now. Let's just enter in our pattern. And you should see that it should be finishing its system update here, which is good. I just have to wait for my launcher to load. And there we go. So let's open up Magisk Manager and have a look. And yes, we are rooted. And let's have a look at safety net status. Fantastic. So yeah, we're passing safety net and we're rooted. It's just going to finish its system installation there. Maybe we'll crank up the brightness a little, but thank you for watching guys. If you have any other questions or queries, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, or even better yet, you can join us on Discord where we can chat about anything that you like and also get help if you need any of that as well. So thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.